being done to us. Uh -huh. the, the flesh must be like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get out of the yes. and, yes. and just rest and, and, and defend. Yes. But yes. That, that, uh, yes. Yeah. But today we want to tell those mothers, all those people out there who are hearing us, you know. Yes. yes. You know, be, be wise, you know. Yes. How Amen. we speak, how we Amen. create ourselves, you know, it's Amen. very important. And uh, when you uh, call me, you know, that, and told me that we're going to be talking about this topic, and I said, oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because it's, it's the topic, you know, that we need help in. Yes. You know, everybody. Uh -huh. Not just one person. Everybody. everybody. We yes. all need help on that area. You know, it's especially, you know, as children of God, mm -hmm. that have to carry on the, the, the love of God in our lives. Amen. Amen. And that's why the Word of God is so important, yes. sisters, because the Word of God teaches us yes. how to control yes. how we live. It teaches us how to control what we say, the words that come out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, and how we speak is, is like you said, sometimes... The first five minutes that we meet someone, I like how you said that, yeah. is how we're going to learn about that person. Yeah. And, and even it doesn't take a scientist to be able yeah. to figure out <laughs> that whether that person yeah. has the Holy Spirit and, and can control their tongue through through the obedience of the Word of God. And as I read before, the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. Mm -hmm. Now, the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. We want to be a tree of life. Yes. You know, as mothers, as wives, as servants of God, we want to be that tree of life. So that the tongue, what we say, and sometimes it's just, we just better, it's better that we don't say anything. Sometimes it's better that we just stay quiet. Why? Because the tongue can, can help or can hurt, you know, and, and that's one of the things that I think uh, God has has instilled in our lives as Christians, yes. as believers, that we should we should control our tongue, yeah. that we should control how we how we speak, how yes. we or carry on ourselves. Yes. Why? Because it's important. It's important for another person. It's important, sister, if we may maybe maybe say something that will offend the other person. Yeah. That we may say something that will that will tear the other person apart. Yeah. for life. You know, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So it's very important that we be careful. Yes. And you know, Sister Norma, people see us up front and, and you know, they think that, oh, they have it all together, you know. Uh -huh. But, you know, as my growing up years, I grew up in an alcoholic home. And when I was 14, I had to run away from home because of so much verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. And there was a time that I said, enough, wow. is enough. So I had to run away from home, you know. And like I said, people see us up here and they see us like all beautiful and all makeup and dress up. But, yes. you know, we have gone through some stuff That's in our lives nice. that have teach us. Amen. You know? yes. And, you know, I have heard a lot of people that said, oh, if my mother had been treated me like this, how would I have ended up like this? You know, but also we have we come to a position yes. where we make our own decisions. That's right. That's where right. we decide, like, hey, you know, if I went through this, if if it was for a purpose or whatever, you know, because I remember I used to go to bed at night and I used to say, what did I do to deserve this? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, 14 year old, young girl, when we we're going through our uh, years as children or youth, we don't understand many things. That's right. You know, and it's like, we just ask ourselves, why? Mm -hmm. Why? And yet, back then, I didn't understand why, but now I understand why. And you know what, Sister Nora? That has helped me to love the people in the church, Amen. to understand the youth, to That's understand, wow. you know, you know, you don't have to talk like that, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be ugly like that. Yes. You can be nice, you yes. know, yes. and like I was saying, you come to a position or and you lie that I say, you know, if I was like that, if I, I had my grown up years like that, mm -hmm. I want to be like that. And the only one who is going to help us to change that attitude or that, that thinking mm -hmm. is the Lord. That's right. 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Those, Amen. I mean, they, that's the only thing that is going to help in your life because men have tried to change their thought of thinking and their, their way of life. And they're not going to be able to do it work. until God comes That's and fills right. that void Amen. and Amen. makes you understand through the power of the Holy Spirit yes. to understand who you are in God yes. and that you can do it. You yes. know, the Word of God says that we can do all um, things yes. through Christ who strengthens and gives us the strength to do it. Because in, in our own, mm -mm. we oh can't do God. it. We no, can't no, do no, it. No, no. I mean, oh, oh, I have tried and believed. Doesn't work. <laughs> so all those people who are seeing us right now, believe me, the only one who's gonna help you in your life to Amen. change your attitude, yes. to change your way of thinking, you know, it's the Lord. And so oh, the Lord yeah. His Holy Spirit. And we're here this day with that purpose, con ese propósito de decirle a la gente Gloria que el Señor es real, es el Señor y es poderoso y él puede cambiar Amen. nuestra vida. Yeah. Yes, and I love what you said, Sister, yes. how your upbringing. Yes. And it's true. How many people are watching this program right now yeah. that can relate to you? And I can relate to you, too. Mm -hmm. our, our upbringing, you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy. No. There was verbal abuse. There was physical abuse. But that's not an excuse as a grown-up mm -hmm. to look back and keep saying, well, but then, yeah. then it's there, it's left, it's behind now, it's time to get up and, 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 and obey and follow the word of God and say, okay, Lord, I want to make a change. I want to be different. I want to be able to, to say, to do the things that you want me to do, not the things, I don't want to copy what I saw back there. I don't want to copy the, the, the abuse that I saw back there. Just because that happened doesn't mean that I have to do the same thing today. And I, and I love what you said. I'm sure that there are many uh, servants of God, many pastors' wives that are watching this program that may be saying, well, you know, I had a hard life, and now, and now I am, I can love people because I want to be different. We want to make a difference, and the way that we're going to make a difference in the, in the best, for the better, is going to be by obeying the Word of God. It's going to be by, by speaking the Word that God has instilled in our tongues. Not the word that, 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 that our mind might be wanting to, to, to say to destroy or to destruct or to, dis, to disappoint people, but it's to encourage people. Yes. And that is the kind of, that, that's the kind of uh, word that God wants to put in our lives. Sister, and I, I, and I love that, you know, that if we do, we do grow up in a way that we, that we may be, uh, we may have been at. And I'm, I'm reading a book right now uh, of a sister that it's just, it's, it's just, Amazing how this sister is so uh, into the word, so uh, empowered. Empo she's so you know, so she's got so much power for the Lord right now. And when I was reading her book, it, it was just breaking my heart from where she was coming from, also. And and it's just I, I was just marveling it, and I was thinking, Lord, thank you, yes. because I believe that there's so many. So many people, sister, that have been through hard times yes. as, as a child. But today, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to make a difference, to be able to speak yes. the Word of God, to speak life into people, to speak joy and love into people, not nothing but uh, uh, negative things, nothing but hateful words. No, it's time to speak the Word of God. It's time to speak yes. the Word of life into other sister and so I, I praise God today. <laughs> I praise God today because he has given us this opportunity yes. to share, to share with the public, to share with the people what our experiences have been like. And like you said, sister, as pastor's wives, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's very it's a very sensitive uh, position that we have. And the reason is sister because you have to love the people. Yes, yes. However they are. That's right. You have to accept it. Amen. Yes. And the only thing that has helped us, uh, yeah, it's the love of God. <laughs> yes, that's right. Because I have to go around loving people, you know. Uh -huh. it's, and it's like, you know, you have to accept them how they are, yeah. believing that the Lord is going to change your life. Because believe me, uh -huh. in our congregation, we have all kinds uh -huh. of people. Yes. And it's like, you know, we have to learn 
to love them. And that's what I have done in my life. In the beginning, it was not easy. I remember when I first got married with my husband, the pillow used to be my, my best friend because I used to cry. You know, I was with a very low self-esteem. Oh, oh my goodness. And I remember my husband was already a pastor when I got married with him. So I was very shy, and I can't believe I'm in TV now. <laughs> Praise God. I can never on TV, but I know it's God. Yeah, you know, I recognize yeah. that it's God. Yeah. And I remember I used to cry. I said, oh, God, what did I do? What did I marry my, my husband? You know, but little by little, it's a learning process. Amen. And that's yes. a beautiful thing, God, that you learn. That's it's right. not from morning to night or from a, it's a process. It's a process. That you learn. And we have people in our church that... We have to have had learned to laugh yeah. because oh my God, they <laughs> would like help me, Holy Ghost. But you know, yes. it's 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 beautiful. I mean, Amen. it's beautiful. And God has a purpose for everything. Yes, yes. yes. And I believe that God chooses. I believe God chooses uh, many pastors' wives, and in a certain way, for them to be that help for their for their husband yes. that God needs for them to be. Yeah, because my husband is very uh, strict with people uh -huh. and I'm very lenient with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, Sister Letty, you're so sweet. That's <laughs> right, we're all very strict. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so we had to kind of also balance it out. Yeah, exactly. You balance it out. It's like, God knows what he does. Yes, amen. Yes. Yes. El Señor sabe lo que hace. El Señor sabe. El Señor sabe lo que hace. Gracias a Dios que podemos ser de bendición. Sí, gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Podemos hablar también en inglés y en español, gloria a Dios, en este programa. Yo sé que están escuchando quizás hermanos que hablan solamente inglés y quizás hermanos que hablan solamente en español. Pero este programa es para bendecir el pueblo de Dios. Es para bendecir toda persona que esté escuchando, que esté oyendo en este programa. Estamos hablando de la poder que la lengua tiene en nuestras vidas. El poder que la lengua tiene. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya. Me dio unas notas que, que hablar sobre ellas y le hemos tocado las notas. Y aquí en el Salmo 64, este, si lo puede leer en español, porque aquí mi nota está en inglés 64, 3. Uh -huh. Y mire la, lo que dice la palabra del Señor. Aquí en el Salmo 64, 3, el rey David estaba pasando por un desierto. Estaba uh -huh. pasando por un desierto donde todos sus enemigos se levantaban. Y él así describe a sus enemigos en el Salmo 64.3. Diría uh -huh. en, en, en español, 64, capítulo 3. Uh -huh. 63, ¿cuál es ese? Dice, que afilan como espada su lengua, lanzan cual saeta suya palabra amarga. Dice, they sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their words like lead, deadly arrows. Así él los describía, que hasta me da los chills cuando lo describe a oh, sus Dios. enemigos. Uh -huh. Y él iba, eh, mientras que yo leía estas notas, este norma, yo podía, el Espíritu Santo, eh, podía yo mirar al, 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 al rey David que iba por un desierto. Y el Espíritu Santo me reveló que lo único que lo sacó adelante al rey David Mientras que él se sentía por sus enemigos que lo destruían, mm -hmm. fue su alabanza Amen. y su amor a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Y aunque él decía, aunque ellos están contra mí con esas uh -huh. lenguas, dice, como espada, uh -huh. y, mm -hmm. y, dice, y sus palabras son como arrows, como mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to say in Spanish, <laughs> como uh, y saeta, saeta, uh -huh. dice, uh -huh. y yo puedo sentir en este que la único que le ayudó al rey David fue su adoración, su alabanza Amen. y su amor. Gloria a Dios. Amén. Y yo quiero decirte en esta tarde, hermana, hermano, que nos estás escuchando, que estás viendo este programa, lo único que nos va a ayudar a seguir adelante en medio del desierto, en medio de la situación, el problema, es nuestra alabanza. Que hablen palabra en, en contra de ti. Tu adoración Amen. y tu fe y tu amor a Dios es lo único que te va a seguir adelante. Amen. Porque Amen. Es, es lo único que va a traer voz a nosotros. Gloria a Dios. Amen. Y yo pude, cuando yo estaba leyendo estas uh, notas, yo pude decir, Señor, 
Eso fue lo que le dijo al rey David. Uh -huh. Su adoración. Uh -huh. Dice el, uh -huh. una de las escrituras que cuando él adoraba, sus ropas se le caían. Wow. De tanto que él adoraba al Señor. Uh -huh. Y eso es lo que él lo siguió adelante uh -huh. en su adoración. Y, y este, yo pude sentir ese espíritu de Amna Shabbos. Voy a compartir esto con los hermanos. So, este, en Proverbios 2, 12, 18 dice, dice, reckless words pierce like a sword. Dice, but the time of the wise brings heal. Mm -hmm. Words pierce like a sword. Reckless words. O sea, que palabras que, que no van y vienen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Penetra en el corazón, pero las palabras de un entendido dicen traen sanidad. Gloria a Dios. Y eso es lo que queremos traer en este programa: sanidad al corazón. Hay tanta gente que nos está viendo ahorita, Sushanama, que está dolido. Especialmente nosotros, especialmente nosotros las mujeres, somos bien sensitivas. Sí. We're a fragile vessel. Sí. You know, este, no sé si nuestros esposos o nuestros hijos así nos dicen cualquier palabra. I'm already like, oh, sí, man, no. sí. uh -huh. You know, sí, it no, is no. like, lo, lo único que nos va a ayudar es cuando venimos en oración. Amen. Amen. En nuestro refugio, Él es nuestro refugio. Amen. Pero gloria al Señor que podemos correr gloria a Dios. al Señor y sabemos que Él es el único que nos va a a sanar, no sí. Hay muchas ocasiones, hermana, cuando hemos recibido llamadas de gente que necesita oración. Uh -huh. We have received calls from people who, who are asking for prayer. Yes. And, and, and as you were sharing with us regarding the, um, the praise uh -huh. and the worship unto the Lord yeah. can change things. And when we're praying for these people, sister, sister Leti, uh -huh. We can feel the presence of God, the Spirit of God, yes. just hover over us as we pray. Mm -hmm. And the words that are coming out of our tongues, our mouth, are words of restoration, mm -hmm. are words of encouragement, mm -hmm. are words of, of, of love, are words of, of strength. These are words of, the words of prayer that come out of our mouths mm -hmm. as we come together with other people to pray. Cuando nos unimos con otra gente a orar por ellos, yes. cuando nos, a, a, nos llaman, hermana, a salen palabras de nuestras bocas de aliento, mm -hmm. palabras de restauración, de ánimo, de amor. Entonces, eso es lo que, lo que necesita salir de nuestras bocas. Mm -hmm. Es palabra de ánimo, como decía usted. Yes. Y, y eso es cuando el Señor, la presencia de Dios, se deja sentir sobre nosotros. Porque hay mucha gente que quizás está escuchando este programa, está viendo este programa, que está en dolor, uh -huh. que está en necesidad, uh -huh. que dice, ya no puedo más. Pero el Señor dice, por eso yo he puesto esta palabra en ti, uh -huh. sierva de Dios, siervo de Dios, para que puedas compartir con mi gente que yo amo tanto uh -huh. y puedas dar una palabra de aliento. And you can give them a word of encouragement. Uh -huh. And you know, sister, that's, that's why it's so important that God tells us in his word that we need to share the word from our tongue. The words that come out of our tongue have to be words of encouragement. I always say, if you're not going to say something good about someone or something, then don't say anything. Mm -hmm. Yo siempre digo, y a mis hijos los han enseñado a decir, si no vas a decir algo bien de alguien, mejor no digas nada. If you're not going to say something good about someone, it's better not to say anything. If bad thoughts come to your mind and negative thoughts about someone, and you want to, you want to, you want to uh, say something, it's better that you don't say anything because you're going to hurt someone. Porque vas a lastimar a alguien si salen palabras uh, de, de, para destruir, mm -hmm. palabras para matar. Porque hermana, en, en muchas ocasiones. Hemos encontrado gente que dice, pues estoy lastimado porque algo que alguien me dijo. Yes. In many occasions we have encountered people that have said, I'm so hurt. I was hurt in the church because someone said something to me yes. that hurt me. That person has been, could be dead spiritually. Yes. Y por eso, and that's why the word of God says, you know, it's going to kill. It's going to bring death. 
if the word is, that comes out of our mouth is not an encouraging, an encouraging word. Y por eso dice que la palabra de Dios dice que va a traer muerte, mm -hmm. si no es palabra buena que sale de nuestra boca. Entonces, hermana, tenemos que eh, 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 animar al pueblo de Dios que la palabra que sale de ti sea, sea palabra de ánimo, palabra que la lengua que tenemos, que Dios nos ha dado. Yes. Dios nos ha dado una lengua tan preciosa, un, un, una, un instrumento para, para alabarle, para glorificarle, para darle gracias. No para, para criticar ni para hablar mal de alguien. No to criticize or talk wrong about someone, but to encourage, you know, and to say, praise the Lord because they are being blessed. Gloria a Dios porque son bendecidos. You know, and there is something that Maybe, sister, maybe if we look at the, and the way that I'm thinking is that maybe we see the good in everyone, yes. not the bad in everyone. Si miramos lo bueno de toda la gente, la gente, no lo malo. Entonces, si miramos lo bueno, quiere decir que va a ser algo bueno que va a salir de nuestra boca. Mm -hmm. If we see the good in someone, and if we have compassion for people, si tenemos compasión, entonces van a salir cosas buenas de nuestra boca. So, gloria a Dios en este día porque nos hemos gozado y, y, y Dios ha hablado, creo, en nuestras, en nuestras vidas este día, hermana. Vamos a, vamos a hacer una oración para todo el pueblo que está escuchando. Vamos a orar que Dios haga algo en nuestras vidas, que Dios eh, unja nuestras lenguas y que todo lo que salga de nuestra boca sea palabra viva para traer vida. Vamos a hablar. Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. Gracias, Señor, porque sabemos sí, que tú estás aquí, Señor. Amen. Tu palabra nos dice que si dos de vosotros se conviniesen de cualquier cosa, Aleluya. aquí en la tierra será hecho por tu Padre que está en los cielos. Amen. Y yo y mi hermana Norma, Señor, nos convenemos creyendo, Señor, a favor de tu pueblo. Aleluya. Toda persona que estaba oyendo, mirando este programa, Señor, Aleluya. te pidemos que tú vengas a sus vidas. Si ellos tienen una herida, Señor, en su corazón, en su mente, en su espíritu, te pidemos, Señor, que por medio de tu Santo Espíritu tú vengas y sanes, restaures, levantes. Amen, amen. Aquella hermanita que nos está viendo, Señor, que está herida, Señor, por palabras que fueron habladas a sus vidas, que no fueron de beneficio, Señor. Yo te pido que por medio de tu Santo Espíritu amen. tú vengas en este momento y sanes completamente, Señor. Toca sus vidas, creyendo que tú eres el único que nos levantas, nos restauras, nos sanas, nos salvas. Todo, Señor, tú eres el único que lo puedes hacer. Hacer. Habrá algo imposible para ti, no lo hay, Señor. Y sabemos que tú, Señor, mandas tu palabra. Y tu palabra curó les y sanó les de todas sus angustias. Y nosotros lo creemos que tú lo haces en esta mañana, en esta tarde, cualquier momento que tu pueblo está viendo este programa. En tu nombre, Señor, te lo pidemos. En tu nombre, mi Jesús. Amén. Amén. Gloria a Dios. Gracias. Creemos, Amén. Amén. Y gracias por haber estado con nosotros. Amén. Que el Señor les bendiga en este día.